yeah, as you said, crowded indoor settings is the key here. So at the start of the pandemic, we had settings like cruise ships, um, international conferences and sort of holiday settings in ski resorts that were the source of some super spreading events, as we say. Um, they're now shut. So the main sources of transmission, certainly here in the UK and in other areas around Europe, will be places like crowded bars and restaurants where the virus can um, be in the air in droplets and in aerosols and cause infections. It's the super spreading events that we want to stop and reducing the number of crowded indoor settings is one key way of doing that. And what is it that makes it so dangerous? Let's say we were in a bar and all the windows were open and everyone was sat far apart from each other. Is that still insufficient? I think in areas where the, the case burdens are very high, yes, that would still be insufficient. I think you'd rather have the bars closed. Ventilation will certainly help, as you say. Keeping people apart, social distancing will help. But I think the emerging evidence around aerosol transmission, where the virus can stay in the airs and viable for a few hours, um, means that, again, where um, the infection rates are high, then having people apart for windows it wouldn't be quite sufficient to reduce mm. the number of cases sufficiently. What about your workplace, though? How's that actually different from a bar? Well, again, offices, for example, are another source of super spreading events. We certainly had a few instances of that recorded here in the UK, and I'm sure there will be others across Europe as well. Uh, working from home where possible um, is the order of the day here, and certainly should be in the case in other high burden areas of Europe. So they're also uh, settings where um, infection risks are higher. And how much of a difference does wearing a mask actually make? If you were all at a restaurant, I know you'd be eating, so it's a bit of a silly example because you'd have to open your mouth and take your mask off. But if we were all in a close indoor environment, like here in France, you've got to wear masks indoors in workplaces and things. How much of a difference does that actually make if all those people are in a confined space for a long period of time? Well, we know from the evidence across this pandemic that masks are, I think I'd describe them as a useful contributory factor. They're not 100% effective at stopping infections, uh, but alongside things like social distancing and hand washing, they are a useful tool. I see people in the background uh, where you are wearing masks as well, so that's good to see.